What's going on everybody? It's Charlie Eugene back with another video. Today I have a Elite Desk 800 G4 in front of me. And what I want to do is show you guys how to swap out the module. And what I mean by the module is this back device right here. If you see this little device, it's a little cutout. Mine is a VGA. I have to get this out of here. I cannot stand to see VGA anymore. I've been looking at this. I've been looking at this port for like 20 plus 25 years. It's, I'm just so tired of it. It's outdated. I want to get this out. So on this model, you can swap out this module. And I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to do it coming up in this video. All right, so here it is, the Elite Desk. It says Pro Desk. Micro Center, for whatever reason, they thought that I wouldn't figure out that there was a, this is an Elite Desk. When I took the cover off, there's a USB-C port right here, so I knew this wasn't the correct face, but it's okay. I'll find a way to replace that or, you know, just be patient if somebody sells one. Anyway, let's get into this video. So I always, with these small, ultra small form factor machines, whether it's the G2, G3, G4, always flip it over and unscrew. All of them are held in place with one screw, which is which I love. You don't have to unscrew a whole bunch of things to get to the motherboard. And I start it, I slide it out, and then I flip it back over, and then I just peel it off. Very easy to do it that way. And set this to the side. This has already been cleaned thoroughly so i don't have to use my air can this time and what's so cool about this device man is the fact that you got two uh m.2s one two right now i'm at about 700 gigs 756 gigs of of m.2 solid state space uh yours might let me set this down yours might um have the 2.5 caddy covering over these two slots mine didn't come with the uh 2.5 caddy and i'm happy with that i like i love my m.2 so i'm not really not really worried about that anyway really quickly let me go over some of the stuff that's here and then we'll get into swapping out the module which is right here all right so you got your two m.2s you have a slot for your Bluetooth card, Wi-Fi Bluetooth card right here, which I might do later on. Not really worried about that because I use a little Bluetooth dongle. And for internet, I use the Ethernet port. So I'm not really worried about that. Um, but you can uh, upgrade uh, your module, your, your card, excuse me, right here. Also, this is where your RAM is uh, stored. Your RAM is underneath the, the fan here. And all models, you just lift up on here. And voila, you have access to your your RAM. Uh, people have said you can you can install up to 64 gigs of DDR4, but those 32 gig uh, chips, I mean those 32 gig RAMs, are going to be very expensive. So if anything, I'll get this up to 32 gigs and be good with 32. But right now I'm at 16, which is more than enough for me because I don't really use Windows like I used to. But very easy to get to that. And here is your CPU. Your CPU is right underneath this heat sink. This is held in place with three screws, so stick your flathead in here and you can gain access to swap out your CPU. I did a swap out on, uh, I made a video on a few months ago, about a month and a half ago, on the G2 swapping out from uh, i5 to i7. So I'm not going to show you guys how to do that on this video. If you want to see it, I'll, I'll put the link right here on how to swap out the CPU. Very easy. It's the same process as the G2, G3, and G4, all the same process. But let's get to why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because I have to get this old VGA port out of here. Very easy to do it. All you have to do is take these two screws out, get yourself a uh, precision screwdriver, and I didn't. I don't have my shot glass. I feel confident today that I won't uh, drop the screws. There's only two of them. So set your screws to the side here, and that's it. Very easy to get this module out. And if you go on eBay, there's like just three modules you can order, which is the VGA, which, which I have currently. 
USB-C, which I'm swapping out to, and HDMI. I didn't want to go with the HDMI because there's already two uh, display ports here that I can easily convert these over to, to HDMI. So I didn't, I decided to go with USB-C since, since uh, Micro Center decided to give me the wrong face so I don't have access to my USB-C in the front. Anyway, very easy to get this module out. Uh, the best way, the best way to do it for if you have the VGA one, is to kind of lift up. Let me let me bring this up a little bit. Put your finger underneath the actual VGA port and press up on it. It should it should come off. It's a little weird. There you go. You hear it snap. That means it's lifted off the motherboard. And then grab your finger now, your finger, and put your finger underneath the board. Don't use a flathead or a screwdriver you might puncture the motherboard or puncture puncture the actual module device so it's better to use your fingers take your time and just uh, move around a little bit so don't dare this so bam that's it once you disconnect it from the motherboard you can slide it right on out of here and get this out so there's the connector excuse the shaking of the camera there's the connector right here. This this is the part that connects to the motherboard right there. So very cool, man. These, these things are like 15 bucks on eBay, man. All of them, whether it's the VGA, the USB-C, or the HDMI. Very easy to change this out. Let's set that to the side here. And here is the USB-C module. Very, very nice. There's the connector. So you match the parts, same layout. And that's how you know you, you're, you're good to go. So the easiest way to uh, do this is to line up the holes, the screw holes. Once you line up the screw holes, let me make sure you guys can see this. Once you line these screw holes up, you can press it down on the module. You'll hear it snap to the motherboard and you're good to go. This is the hardest part right here is getting these uh, holes to line up. So just fool around with it for a while until you see it line up, see those holes, and then press down on it. You'll, you'll hear it. If, it, if it. if you don't hear it, there we go. There you go. So you should hear snaps. If you don't hear any snaps and you don't see the holes through those little do the cutouts right there, then uh, you don't have it lined up properly. But that's that's it, man. Very easy to do. And that's why I made this video to show you guys how easy it is to switch out these little modules. I don't think anybody on YouTube made a video on how to do this. So I want to show you guys. Very easy to do it. All right, put your screws back in. And what I like to do is look how it's, make sure it's sitting flush. Excuse me, excuse me, I have allergies. <clears throat> Voice crackling a little bit. Push your, push your face back on here, your cover. Put your screw back in place and we're gonna look to make sure it's, it looks flush against the uh, case. Yes, it looks beautiful. So now it looks just so much better, doesn't it? See that? Just that one little small part just makes it look so much better. Makes it look so much better, man. Now, now I'm, I'm happy. If I can get this case, I'll be really, really good to go. But anyway, man, this is Charlie Eugene. Just wanted to show you how easy it is to change out the module on a HP Elite Desk 800 G4. If you do have VGA or you want to go HDMI or you want to go USB-C, very cheap, very easy to do. Please leave any, uh, if you got any questions or comments, feel free to ask below. Please click the like button. Please hit that subscribe, man. And this is Charlie Eugene. If I can do it, you can do it too. Peace.